Good morning. Right, today we are going to show you, uh, give you an insight into what we do uh, when we do some styled shoots. So today we are shooting a popular brand called, they're called Serura Fashions. They sell clothes for, um, uh, for, 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 for weddings. They have wedding dresses, they have dresses for bridesmaids they also have dresses for uh, mother of the bride father of the bride that kind of thing for guests uh, so we are just in the studio right now um, this is our temporary pop-up for for changing area we just try to make it simple because we use the studio for other things most of the time We've set up a table there for them to put their stuff on and we have barricaded the, the studio right there because this is where we're going to be doing the shoot. So it's going to be uh, a, a simulation of what it would be at an event without distraction at the back. So we are trying to, I'm trying to see if I can these boards to that shoot. So we've got three of these. Uh, different sizes. The other one is black one is white. The first thing I need to do is to make sure that I put some legs on these uh, because we have not used these uh, in a very long time. So as you can see I made these legs as well. I will show you how I make these things. These are simple MDF boards that I just painted. So yeah, keep it locked right as we go through this um, this process. So at this point, I'm doing pre-visualization uh, where I'm trying to find out what I think the designer might want uh, based on the discussions we've had. And everything that I was thinking uh, was thrown out the window and I was given new instructions uh, to, to put those uh, sponges in places where she was then going to put the flowers. So to make it work, the sponges are quite flimsy, so I put some nets around them and then use double-sided tape uh, to tape them onto the board. We have a challenge that I will talk about in a bit. So it's about an hour to to the shoot. Uh, we're trying to visualize uh, how we're going to place these boards and where we're going to place the person. Remember, the emphasis is not on on the background, but the emphasis is on the dresses. So once we start to do more of the photography bit, I'll then try to explain some of the challenges we face when we're shooting these dresses. first part of, of, of uh, the whole process. So I'm gonna place the camera here so you can see uh, um, the process as it goes. So as soon as Taffy started putting flowers, it became apparent that the double-sided tape wasn't going to be strong enough. So uh, we ended up putting some holes on the boards and tying everything with chicken wire. Worked very well. 
and it was very strong. So we are almost ready. Um, this is what we have so far. So that's our backdrop. We'll try and capitalize on the reflections on the floor. So for lighting, we are using two soft lights in front and uh, one hard light at the back and it's the same light with the Fresnel X2 that's just going to direct the light exactly where, where I need it to go. Our model is in here. Say go, say hi! Hi! Right. <laughs> Yes, and we have got the clothes right here that we are going to be working with in all these. So this is a lifestyle shoot rock uh, product photography and that's our boss right there. Serura fashion. So to shoot, uh, we're using a Nikon as usual and uh, we're shooting tethered, meaning that when we take a picture, it goes through the wire into the computer, straight into Lightroom, uh, where it's going to be processed. So we finished testing the light, everything looks fine. Uh, and there's a second monitor where uh, our client can view the pictures as well. So at this point I'm happy with the lighting, I'm happy with um, the position of the camera. So I've put the camera on the tripod so that for every shot that we take we get exact same uh, composition. Uh, so there's a challenge when it comes to the dresses that we are shooting today. So we have to make sure that whatever color the dress is, is exactly what comes on there. Color accuracy is one of the challenges, so to combat that we are using very very soft light so we've got these two lights this one and this one and they are giving us very very soft light the only hard light is the one at the back so these two lights are cross lighting so that we can get the model and the backdrop at the same time yeah and it's giving us very soft light that's going to work very well on our white flows that are reflecting what's happening uh, in this scene. So yeah, keep it locked right here. So we finally begin shooting and at this point it's just bam bam bam. So we're doing front of the dress, side of the dress and the back of the dress. The posing is very simple and easy. We work with several affections every time and uh, we introduce the model to them and uh, we, this is our sixth shoot with them, so the model already knows the kind of poses that we are looking for. It's pretty straightforward. Yeah, so we are almost done. We have done a few dresses. So I'm going to walk through uh, some of the technical things happening. So connected to the camera is the light controller. Uh, what it allows me to do is control the, the the power of the light from there without having to go to where the light is right there. The other two lights are set on what we call slave mode. Uh, what it means is when they see another flash goes, they go at the same time. So I'll try and explain how that actually works from behind uh, the engine itself. So when you take, when you flash, your eyes see as if you've just had one flash, just like that. But what's actually happening is there are two flashes that are happening 
uh, separately within a second, within a fraction of a second. So the first flash goes off, it's called the pre-flash. That is the one that goes and assesses the situation. If your light was set to automatic mode or TTL, uh, which is through the lens, the light goes back into the camera and the camera determines how much flash it needs to illuminate that scene. So the second flash is the proper flash. So the pre-flash is the one that triggers the two slaves so that they will flash when it actually flashes. So that's what actually what happens right there. So you might see with your eye that it's one flash, but trust me, it's two flashes going off instantaneously. So, as I'd said, we're shooting tethered, meaning that uh, the signal goes into Lightroom straight with the wire. I use the wire because it's quicker. So once the data gets into Lightroom, uh, Lightroom applies the preset that we've already made that is going to correct the frame because the client wants uh, square photos for Instagram and uh, social media. So after shooting the pictures, what I do is I render some small, small files uh, that I'll then upload via Pixelset, uh, which is the medium I use to deliver these pictures. So once the pictures are on pixel set, they have a watermark as you can see. All the client needs to do is they need to like the images that they want me to edit. So as a bonus for you guys, I'm gonna show you how I integrate pixel set with Lightroom. So what I basically do is I go to activities and where it says favorite activities, I click that button and look for the selection list that the, the favorite list that the client has made. So in this case, I've got all those images. What I just do is go to export that as a list that Lightroom can read. So I do that by just going to copy, click there where it says copy. In Lightroom, I just um, control F or just go where it says library and then find. In the search bar, you paste what you copied from Lightroom. Make sure the middle bar says contains and the first one says any searchable field. It will populate the selected pictures as long as you rendered the raw files in their original names. Thank you so much. Do like, share and subscribe. Let me know what part of the process you found insightful and where you want us to go next in the comment section below. My name is Cosma, the creative director for Zim Inspired. Until next time, take care of yourselves and take care of those that you love.